reunion. Reunion across the street, guys. Family reunion. Somebody found their guy. Oh, wow. So, guys, within the last hour, two buses of migrants from Texas have shown up here at the U.S. Naval Observatory, and I think they're pretty much all gone. The camera crews are here, though. Let's take a look. So the camera crews are all over there interviewing migrants who just got off the bus from Texas. Let's uh, let's go see what we can see, yeah? Quite a few of them. There's a bunch of cops down here who've arrived. So these are the charity workers that brought food, drink, and uh, some clothes, and they're trying to get these people to their next destination. I don't think they knew they were coming here. This is actually quite far from public transit. The nearest train and bus station is several miles away. So uh, they, they've got to do some work to get them here. Tears are now working to get these people out. They got the children. The children were first priority to get to the churches. So here comes the next group of four. They're being led to a carpool. These volunteers are very organized, to be honest. They've, got, they've had people that they can get out, get these people away to the train station or get them to the bus station. And they're off. He's got a banana. He was pretty happy. And then a group of them have loaded into a minivan out of the weather. It's actually a tad chilly this morning. It'll be warmer later on. There was another group. So that woman just drove up and said, I'll take five. <laughs> there was another group. So another group off to an Uber. So they've been... They've been calling Uber drivers to take all the migrants away. Vice President's motorcade detail is arriving right now. They've got a motorcade in about... The motorcade detail is leaving. The Vice President will be coming out shortly. the other exit it looks like they've uh they've gone out the back door the exit i showed you yesterday that had the uh car rammed into it takes them out to wisconsin avenue it looks like the vice president has come out the back door today uh, i guess they wanted to avoid all of this oh let's see british embassy i haven't shown you this in a few days here are the flowers collected for queen elizabeth and they still have a condolence book line over there. Normally the president, vice president comes out of the British Embassy exit or the Norwegian Embassy exit. But today, it really looks like they came out the back door gate. The Wisconsin Avenue exit I showed you yesterday that had a car accident into it. Bit odd. Long lens on. The vice president's motorcade is up there. They came out the Wisconsin Avenue exit and they're swinging around. That's her, right there. Yeah. 
So I was just driving home and I came around the corner and there's a bunch of people still here. So something's still going on. Let's let's go investigate. Uh, I, uh, the ice, they, they have and then they're released on the flight below and they're given a purpose. So they are now here legal issue, not a law enforcement security issue. Uh, we do need to go after the gangs and the drug dealers and the cartels. But we also need to treat the real legitimate soldiers, specifically families and children with human compassion and American charity. Uh, so that turned out to be just some press conference by some activist dudes or whatever. They come out and speak at all these things. But in the middle of the press conference, my phone got a ping, bing, 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 Thunderbirds had taken off. And there is an air show rehearsal. They're practicing the rehearsal right now at Andrews Air Force Base. So let's go to the runway, see what we can see. I'm on the Suitland Parkway and something just buzzed me. <laughs> Fast moving jet. I don't know where it went though. Let's get out to the air base and see if we can see stuff off the runway. I just saw something over the treetops and it's, it's back over there now. I don't know what it is. It could be an F-35. It could be the uh, Thunderbird F-16s. Um, it's very low though. Well, four Thunderbirds had taken off, flown around, made some noise, and they just landed the moment I got to the runway. So I'm now at the end of the north runway. It's down there about a half mile. Hoping, hoping something else will take off soon. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Yeah, I think the blue, I think the Thunderbirds did their little rehearsal. I think the other aircraft are staying down. Nothing's gone up in the last half hour. Uh, let's go get some lunch. Hey guys, we're down on South Capitol Street, just south of the U.S. Capitol. That's Nationals Park, where the baseball Nationals play. Over there is Audi Field, and that's where DC United, the MLS soccer team, plays. And down here is the Frederick Douglass Bridge. And it's a brand new bridge, and it looks really, really cool. And I want to go out on a bike. Ah, speed bump. Who puts a speed bump for bikes? Come on. What's up with that? Anyway, let's go out on this bridge. Because there's something really cool you can see here with a really big camera. <laughs> there is the old Navy Yard down there. And the new Navy Yard, which is all sorts of shops and restaurants. And here's a little lookout where we can stop. This should be kind of cool. So guys, we're looking at the Navy Yard area along the Anacostia River. If there's a little shake, it's not just my hands, it's the bridge. It actually shakes. That's all the restaurants and the shops, the fancy bridges. Down there you see those smokestacks. That's the old industrial area of the U.S. Navy Yard that is still U.S. Navy property. In fact, I think NCIS is based out there. But out there, that, that is a parking garage. Jeez, this bridge is shaking. Yeah, this bridge is pretty bad. This bridge shakes like a mo. Anyway, uh, take a look on the roof. Take a look on the, hang on, screw this. Man, they ought to rename this the Bouncing Bridge or something. I'm serious, man, this just shakes like a mo. All right, I wanna show you the missiles. I can't do it from this bridge because, well, I bounce up and down like I'm on a trampoline at this distance. Hey guys, did I mention it's like a glorious day? Yeah, well, it is a glorious day. It's in the high 70s, maybe 80 degrees, very little humidity. And uh, there's not much going on. I mean, this morning we had all the excitement at the vice president's house with uh, the migrant buses arriving from Texas, but they're gone now. And well, all that's left there are a bunch of press people talking to each other. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Not a whole lot. People out riding their bikes, people out doing construction, illegally dumping, I don't know. Um, uh, let's go this way. I think there's a bike lane. Yeah, there's a bike lane. Swag. Sweet. So we are along the Anacostia River. The Anacostia is the less regarded of the two rivers in Washington. The Potomac is the famous one. It's always like spies on the Potomac. Uh, capital intrigue on the Potomac. And the Anacostia is like 
more bodies and cadavers found in the Anacostia this week than any other week. <laughs> yeah, the Anacostia has always been kind of looked down upon by the Northwest people and not really taken care of. There was a lot of pollution in the Anacostia. It's kind of a shame. Up, oh, and there's the heliport. And we've got two eagles in the nest right now. This is called the Eagle's Nest, U.S. Park Police. I believe there are actually three helicopters. We got two outside, and I think there's a Bell Jet Ranger, which is like the old type helicopter inside one of the hangars, but I don't think they use it that as much. So Eagle 2 is N22PP, and I think that is N11PP or something like that. That's their call signs. That one was gone for a while, and it just came back a few months ago. Whoa, 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 that's, I've always wondered where that was. Ert. Yes, it's right here. Ah, the Bonus Army Wayside. Yes, I knew it was down here. I didn't know there was any markers to it. So this is just a little wave about named after the Bonus Army because this land right here is where the Bonus Army, after World War I, set up their tents, their little shanty town, before they were crushed. And was it Pershing or was it Patton? I can't remember. But I think Patton was actually involved in the crushing of the Bonus Army. Maybe it was MacArthur, I don't know. I had to look that up. But the Bonus Army, they camped right down here on, these, on this land. And I always knew there was a marker or something, but that was it. So yeah, this is the land that the Bonus Army occupied after World War I. They were trying to get their bonuses during the Depression. I guess it was during the Depression, yeah? And uh, they were set up down here. Hmm, how do we get on that bridge? Just because of the angle, guys, you'll see. Some of you may remember I once filmed a video of the police rescuing a man who wanted to kill himself. He was trying to jump off a bridge. He was trying to jump off this platform. I was standing right over there on that road. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you're curious. Yeah, we can get a good view here. So there, guys, you got a nice clear view of the Avenger missile battery off to the left and the spotting radar on the right. It's up on top of this parking garage at the Navy Yard in southeast Washington, D.C., providing air protection against attack to the Capitol. Cool. Now the Navy Yard is no longer like a functioning ship visiting yard. Uh, the bridge that I came over no longer is a drawbridge, so they can't bring any warships into the Navy Yard anymore. The last one to be here was the USS Barry, which was, a, I think it was a destroyer or a frigate, and it was a museum ship, and they towed it away and scrapped it uh, when they decided to build the new bridge. But uh, during World War II, you can see photographs of, you know, half a dozen warships uh, docked in here. In fact, uh, when, you know, we're talking about Princess Marta of Norway in World War II, FDR gave her a warship. Yeah, he uh, donated a warship to the people of Norway. And he did it right here, and he made a very famous speech. I mean, if you study FDR, it was the tell it to Norway. You know, the people are like, some say we can't stand on our own. And it's like, tell it to Norway, tell it to the Norwegians. You know, they're the ones that are fighting, resisting Hitler's aggression all on their own. And here's a warship to help them out. Hey, speaking of little boats, that is a swift boat. Yeah, you guys remember John Kerry, presidential candidate, the swift boat John Kerry? That is a swift boat. And that's one of the vessels, that's the type of vessel that John Kerry uh, commanded in the Vietnam War. A swift boat, a patrol boat, like the PBRs, patrol boat rivers, and other things. This is a PCF-1, but there were many different types of patrol boats that ran up and down the rivers of Vietnam. John Kerry was in one. There are some guns there. I don't think they use those anymore. But let's go see the big guns. Yeah, the really, really big guns are down here. There is a couple cool things you can see outdoors, like a World War I railway gun. Yeah, I'm not kidding. One of those big battleship-sized 13, 14-inch barrel guns strapped onto a train car. Yeah, that is a World War I railway gun. Pretty, pretty impressively cool. 
let's spin around. Now, there here. was another historical event that took place here, and that is the World War I unknown soldier. The cruiser Olympia docked right here and brought with it the unknown soldier of World War I. A funeral procession took him up to the U.S. Capitol. He was lied in state in the U.S. Capitol, and then he was taken over to Arlington Cemetery by the 3rd U.S. Cavalry Regiment, which is, I guess, the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment. So on Armistice Day, 1911, uh, November 11th, 1921, which I guess was uh, not that long after the end of the war, was it? That's when the Tomb of the Unknown was constructed and that's when the soldier was placed in this final resting place. He's still over at Arlington today. That is the tomb we visit whenever we go over there. We're now in Chinatown FBI headquarters, and this is Wise Guys Pizza. Never tried it. It's a slice place. I can really go for a slice. Let's see what we got. We Korean chicken, Nashville chicken, and here, chicken parmesan. Oh, God. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, sitting outside, watching the world go by, eating a slice of pizza. Yep, pretty good. Life is pretty good. I'm a folder. Yeah. So, guys, I was going to film at the White House uh, after my pizza, but I got to run home because a uh, media outlet has contacted me. They want my footage from the vice president's house for their news, and it's almost 4 o'clock, and I got to get to them the next half hour, hour. So let's run home, send those files, and then let's go back and film some guys, stuff. It's 6.22. I'm in front of the Italian embassy. This is right up at the entrance to Rock Creek Park. Now, Rock Creek Park is one way out of the city until 6.30. And at 6.30, it reverses, and I can go back into the city. That will save me 30 minutes cutting across the city in traffic right now. And I want to get to a position to film the Thunderbirds at 6.45. We're really cutting it close. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're going to try it. 30 seconds, guys. I missed it by 30 seconds. This is the day of me missing airplanes. Ah, bummer. There they go. DC Air National Guard, tanker and F-16s. Okay, well, I got some of it, yeah. I thought it was just the Thunderbirds, but it was actually a whole bunch of stuff. I missed a lot of it. I caught one on the bridge, which was the DC Guard KC-10, and some F-16 and F-15, I think. And then that last one was the KC-46. That's the brand new tanker. I've never seen that one before. And it was F-35, and I think it was F-22. I'm gonna have to look at the camera. I didn't really get a good thing. <sighs> but they're done now. So, just as I got here, they're done. Say la vie. Let's go.
guys, yet another day where I wanted to take you on a bike ride and eat a hot dog and another day where, well, life just gets in the way. Anyway, we'll go and try again tomorrow, but, you know, these crazy things, they happen. They happen every day in Washington. That's why we keep making these videos. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. See you tomorrow.